Now, Hunt Against Hunger program is so much more than just feeding children. You give so many people that have to work day and night just to keep a little bit of food on their plates a bit of a break. It really, really, really helps the locals, and it really assists the community in a huge way. Every hunter should be exceptionally proud. The village of Maquera contacted us regarding problem buffalo. There was a small band of dugger bulls that would come at night into their mashambas, their feed plots, and create havoc. At night, buffalo have no fear, and so it was hard to drive them off. With a good wind in our face and a strong set of tracks in front of us leaving the village, we were in good shape. It was setting out to be a dream set up for a hunt, and that's what it was. We had an absolutely great time. I'd like to thank my wife for the incredible camera work and assisting me and being help here. She's hunted more buffalo than most people I know. It's been so much fun. On our first sighting, we ran out of cover at about 75, 80 yards. A doable shot, but I thought I wanted to get in closer, get a better shot, make sure of my opportunity. And that's just what we did. You always try and keep your buffalo in sight. You don't want to lose sight of him. But when he goes into that thick, tall grass, your heart starts thumping, and you realize that this situation has all the potential in the world to go south. From here on, a hell of a lot of caution. It is an incredible honor to hunt these beasts, but the glory goes to the animal. They're so magnificent and huge. And the funds that go towards hunting such an animal goes for the conservation. If it pays, it stays. I love my job. Note that there was a severe angle on my first shot. I felt very comfortable with my 500 Nitro Express shooting 570 grain solids out of my right barrel and softs out of my left. I gave him the solid first. We re retrieved that bullet right out of the heart of that buffalo. On the second shot, you can see 
that we knocked him pretty hard. And this third and the fourth shot were just insurance. You never know. It's the dead ones that get up and kill you.